Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a new project today. This is the um, the two fabric circle I have here is 10 inches and I have two. We are going to make the bowl holder. You know, when you put the bowl in the microwave and it's hot when you hold it. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. I'm using the fail. This is 100% cotton make sure there's not if you want to use for the microwave make sure it's 100 percent cotton everybody so you also need to trace two and if you want to use the same one i i have here go to a dollar tree everyone so now this is the two main fabric that i'm going to i'm going to show you one here what you need to do, you're going to fold it in half. You're going to fold again. Make sure it's nice and lie up nicely, everyone. After you fold, you're going to fold one more time. You're going to make sure you have the pointy right here in your finger. And make sure everything lie up nice. On the, the mini fold here, you need to do, you want to bring it an inch and a half. One inch and a half right there on the mini fold. And then you get the ruler. The round ruler and then you round this area. Now you're going to cut this area out. To cut this, you're going to make sure you clip. And go ahead and cut. After you cut, you're going to have four like this. You're going to place it on the fail and the other circle. You're going to cut it out the same way. Go ahead and trace it in here. You're going to do this one and also the other two. This one too. So you got to do all these four together. So make sure you go ahead and trace this around every one. Oh, this easy you can just go around this here So after you have placed in here, I have we have two set of this. This is the blue and the one with the purple. So we have two of them. Remember, I'm showing you one and you're going to do the other one because I don't want to keep it the long process. So we have the purple and the blue. And also those both have the fail on. So what I want to show you, I show you one, you're going to do the other one because if I show you everything is the same, going to take a long time. So what you need to do when you have something like that, you're going to turn the right side in and then you're going to fold up this way. When you fold like this, you're going to measure from the fold here in two inch. And the other side here, two inches also. When you have two in and two in like this, on the side here, three, four up an inch. 
and you're going to connect this to three four up and into a two inch here and you're going to clip it down this for you to sew later on this side three four up an inch connect connect this together just like that and now you get two two on the side like that you go on to open with the fabric and the fail so you get two you go on to go to this side you go on to do exact the same to the other one you see this side here, two inch and three four up an inch. You go on to do all this one I show you, the other one you do yourself. And three four of an inch right there. Connect this. I'm gonna pin or clip whatever you feel comfortable. This side two inches, three four of an inch, connect, and you go on to clip right there. Now you have this corner right there, it's all four of them like that. What you need to do, you go on to do exactly like this to the uh, to this one. To the other set here same thing and then after that you go on to sew it in everyone so you go on to get your dressing needle if you want to use sewing machine go ahead and use the sewing machine to sew this if you want to and then you go on to use running stitch and then go uh to the other end or back stitch whatever you feel comfortable doing just do all the way to the two inch. You're going to do all of that that you just pin or clip. You're going to sew all of the, and then you're going to do the other one too. The other set of this, and then we're going to put it together. I'm using a very th big, thick, long needle, so it's easier to, to sew on the fail fabric. It make it make the sewing easier. Um, when you sew with the uh, fail fabric, so over here, do exact the same thing, everyone. So everyone, after you sew on the line, that I have it right here, are uh, the four corner right here. You go on to turn and press the line. Press this out if you like. Well, you have to. Sometimes you have a you don't have a choice. So this is the bunny that I'm going to leave it face up like this, everyone. Face one is up, and the other one, I'm going to have this cheek right here. The two cheek is so cute. I'm going to turn this way. And I'm going to place on top of this one. And now I have two right side together with the right side. I'm going to, you're going to make sure you have this line that you sew the corn, the, the line that you sew, meet the line, the other line that you sew, and you're going to clip it down. Go all this four line around here. Make sure it's all lined up nicely and then you can clip it down. All four of them. You see? Now you have it something like that. You're going to sew everything, but in from somewhere here, you can leave about an inch so you can inside out this bowl holder. I just about to say mask. 
So you can leave an inch on in and half. It's up to you, but leave it. Uh, I I leave it in and half to see. And then we're going to sew it in after. Don't worry about it. So you're going to sew it in, everyone. You um a quarter up an inch, so all the way around this, all the way to here, and stop this one. Don't sew. I love doing something like this, everyone. So I'm going to do in between the mask, the request, and then something else. And if I do any cooking, I want to share with you, I will share with you. So just bang it like this so this thing, it won't come into you and on your way. So you can just bang it out like this and then so. So go ahead, everyone. Start sewing, get a cup of coffee, cup of tea, go to the sofa, turn on the TV, listen to some music if you want. Okay, everyone, after I sew all around, you can see here and here, everywhere. Get the name right. So let's just slowly take your time, relax your body. Oh my god, my kids laughing. So on this side, you can just put your finger in there. I'm going to sew that in after. No worry. This is easy. Just clip it right here. Just so I know it's right there. So take all of these out, everyone. Just press and then you go on to bring it out. Isn't that so beautiful? So for the line that you left it there, it's okay. No problem. You can just get the needle go in between the fold. Just like that. And then go back and forth here. And then you can just slide a needle underneath here. Just fold it in. And now you have the line that's folded in. You don't even see the stitches. So now when you iron one side, this is the purple that we've done in so beautiful isn't it you go on the flip into the purple side then you can iron the blue the bunny side so like this so pretty I hope everyone to do this one Everyone, after I use the running stitch that I I sew around the outer line here, I'm gonna show you something to touch up, and it's really pretty if you do hand sew. After that, you're going to slide your needle when one of the side here it doesn't matter where, but you just go right in, like underneath here, going up like this. You can use a different color of the fabric color, then you go under. Just bring it in closer. So you see the stitch that I have here. What you need to do is after you go on in here, 
you're going to go under each one of the stitch here and you go all over the slide that you sew. It's going to bring you more prettier. The touch up right here. Go all around. You can use different color, any color you want, but you have to do this. After you do a hand sew, you use running stitch, and you do this. It'll look nicer when you're finished. So go ahead and do this. Go all over the line that you sew, all around. You see? And it's going to look nicer. So look at this, everyone. After I sew on the yellow line all around it, it look nicer. You don't have to if you don't want to do that. And um, the one thing I want to touch up with you is that when I leave an inch and half on the top here and then I sew the line, if you feel uncomfortable to sew on the curve, then it's right here on the side where the straight line. On the straight line here, you can leave it right here, between here. You can inside out the bowl holder if you want to. And if not, you can leave anywhere you want with somewhere that easy after you inside out you can sew it back in just like the one that i did it up on the curve here so this is it finish everyone it's so beautiful and i'm going to put the bow in here isn't that so pretty and that's it everyone thank you so much for watching you can use two sides if you want to you this purple side and facing the blue out or you can it looks like a flower. Or you can use the blue. I only have one hand. One is holding the the, the phone, everyone, to video. So you can turn it to this side, and then you can put the bow in. So it doesn't matter whatever you want to do. So beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay safe and take care.